Welcome everybody to the new Cruise Aware notification system for the County of Santa Cruz uh, and Regional 911. This is the system that we will use to notify you in case of an emergency, but it has increased uh, functionality so you can actually choose to receive non-emergency notifications such as road work in your neighborhood and we're very excited about this, uh, these new features. Um, so we wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of how this uh, account portal works. This is your registration portal. This is where you will manage your account. And to get here, you just go to cruiseaware.org. Uh, the first thing we wanted to show you is up here in the upper right, there's a box that says English. You can choose your language here, English or Spanish, just choose whatever you prefer. And we also wanted to show you that in the middle of the page here, there's some contact information for how Cruise Aware will contact you. So if you get a phone alert, these are all choices that you can make. If you select to receive phone alerts, that is the number that it will come from. If you, in case you want to put that in your phone so that you know that if you're getting a call that it's from Cruise Aware and there may be something going on in your neighborhood um, for which you should take action. Same thing with the email. It will come from this no reply at genesis.com uh, email account. Text messages will come from the 65513 um, number. You may want to put that in your phone as well, just so you know. Um, so if you already have a Code Red account, we've actually ported over all the login information. So you can just use your old login, email, and password, or phone number and password for the um, Code Red system to log into Cruise Aware. That should work. If you forgot your password, there's a tab there. Uh, to retrieve it. Now if you don't have an account yet, if you've just heard about this effort and you want to sign up, uh, here's what you do. Just click here to register and follow the prompts. I'm going to put in uh, some email account information. You can put in a phone number if you want. You can do both. Click whether you want to receive text messages on this phone. We suggest that you do. Uh, it's the best way to get information, one of a great way to get information. Um, do all the CAPTCHA stuff. You got to do this. I'm not a robot bit. Um, I always fail this test too, so I believe that's correct. And say register, and it will take you into your account page. So this is inside the account. You've logged in. Um, and this is what you'll see. The first thing we want to look at is this menu on the left hand side. If you hover over each of the account, uh, excuse me, over the icons, it will tell you what those pages are. This is the account page, that's where we are. There's an additional emails page where this is self explanatory. You can add emails, you can add phone numbers, um, you can put in locations more than one. So, ex for example, if you work and live in Santa Cruz County, and you want to receive alerts that are germane to both neighborhoods where you work and live, you can put in additional locations here. Obviously, we suggest you put in your home um, because that's what most people do, and that's, I think, most critical to uh, all residents and their families. You can add in alternative contacts. Say you are maybe uh, you have other people in the county that you care about and you want to um, have them get notified as well, you can do that. Uh, we're going to go over the notification page that's very important in a little bit. And this is the unsubscribe button if you do uh, want to get out of this and are sick of us. The uh, question mark is uh, the FAQ. So we put together <coughs> excuse me, an FAQ to help walk people through this system. If you click that, that is what you'll get. This will also be available in English and Spanish. Um, many, many questions will be answered by checking the FAQ if you have, if you have questions. And of course the login, log out button. Uh, I do want to point this out. If you go to these three parallel bars up here on the upper left, click them. You can actually get the name of each page uh, written out for you so that's a, a little bit easier to navigate. Also, this is very important to note, on mobile, you will not see this left hand menu. You will just see those three parallel bars. So in order to get that menu, just press on those bars, touch them on your phone and you will get that menu. So how this works is if you want to add an additional email, you would click on that page and then click create new email. This is the email type page. So maybe you want to put in a work email. You just type work and then you'd put in your work email down here and click create. Um, 
it's pretty self-explanatory and you can do a number of these if you have a number of different emails uh, same thing with the phone numbers create a new phone number you're actually creating a new phone number you're inputting a new phone number um, so you would say uh, cell phone or landline or work phone or whatever you want here enter the phone number click create and you're good to go uh, locations this is what we wanted to talk about because the this will uh, this is key so we're going to create a new location I am going to put in my work location to demonstrate the system for you so we're going to go 701 Ocean Santa Cruz that's the big uh, county building downtown put in the zip code California excuse me California USA, you can spell it out, you can abbreviate, whatever works. Then you go over here and click create. Now you're going to get this alert. It says empty longitude or latitude. Nobody really knows what longitude or latitude they're at, which is why we've added this geolocate button. Um, this is very important and it's a little bit under the hood for a lot of people, but if you want to sort of, if we want to notify people, for example, if there's a shelter in place because there was some kind of chemical spill or there's an ongoing public safety situation we want to notify people um, within a quarter mile or half mile or whatever it may be of the of the certain situation we, we will use a latitude and longitude to do that which is why we need to know what your latitude and longitude are so we're gonna do that for you just click the geolocate button watch the magic happen that is in fact the Santa Cruz County Government Center the longitude and latitude are then filled in for you. You can go ahead then and cr press create. Voila. Um, login created, location created successfully, excuse me. Um, under the alternative contacts tab, you can add in relatives, um, people you live with, loved ones, friends, um, anybody you want to put in there. That should be fairly self explanatory. There's a name first, net, uh, last name email phone number you click create you can also delete them after you create them if you decide that you're not friends with them anymore or anything like that um, I think that should be fairly self-explanatory we want to get to the notifications page real quick here um, so if you click on that tab this is the notifications page obviously I think you want to all want to be notified of emergencies general is for the non-emergency notifications uh, this can be a number of things it can be road work in your neighborhood say there's a parade or a race or something like that in your neighborhood we might want to send you in a traffic alert just so you know uh, to avoid the area we could notify you of community events or meetings or things like that that might be of importance um, again this is an optional feature you can choose it or you can uh, choose not to use it um, it's up to you uh, down below you see the types of notifications that you can receive email uh, text or SMS the voice messages that's the call uh, or a TTY option for those that need that service um, you can choose one or all of them it's up to you and just click update when you're done make sure you do that um, and here we have uh, a feature where you can opt in to receive different types of notifications you can opt in to receive all of them you might want to do that um, or you can choose um, which notifications you want obviously storms were a big deal this last winter I would suggest everybody uh, receive storm warnings um, again if it's an emergency we're going to notify you regardless but sometimes people want a little bit more of an advanced notice if there are going to be events that are going to be affecting the county. Uh, tsunami would be a good one, things like that. So you can pick and choose here, and then when you're done, uh, just click update. Um, I think that is it. That should be uh, helpful. If you have any other questions, please consult that FAQ. Um, we hope you uh, spread the word about this word of mouth is going to be key in getting as many people signed up as we can uh, and the more people we have signed up the better it is uh, and the safer we all are
also this is very important to note on mobile you will not see this left hand menu you will just see those three parallel bars so in order to get that menu just press on those bars touch them on your phone and you will get that menu 